talk a lot about getting advice for being productive and to get things done. But I also want to talk about the flip side. What happens afterward? We create, we put ourselves out there, our project is out in the world. Now we have to deal with people's perception of it, which could be hard to take. We spoke with Terry Crews and Gwyneth Paltrow, and I know they have very different lives, very different career journeys. But I want to know how they deal with judgment and criticism. Terry Crews. He's a former NFL linebacker who transitioned into acting. Among many roles, you may know him from the hit TV show, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. In his book, Tough, My Journey to True Power, Terry opens up about his really hard childhood growing up in poverty in Flint, Michigan. We spoke with him in June 2022, and he shared a very powerful message about self-discipline, dealing with people's expectations, and how he thought he needed to represent himself. But above all, he fully embraced vulnerability. I started looking around, and I was like, nobody cares. And I was like, wait a minute, everybody's worried about themselves. Nobody's even thinking about me. And it hit me, man. I was like, no one cares. It's like, oh, this is all in your head. The fact that you thought the whole world would crumble if you started doing something else other than playing football, that everyone was going to talk about you and it was going to be this big front page news story. It wasn't. And then I started applying that attitude to everything, anything. It was literally like, so I said, well, if I went from football player to sweeping floors, I can go to football player to security guard. I can go from security guard to filing papers at the Veterans Administration. I can go from filing papers to acting because no one cared. And I learned how to take the segue as getting better. And you know, there's a quote that I heard that got me through the pandemic. It said, sometimes, your greatest hopes are destroyed to prepare you for something better. And that hit me so hard. I was like, those hopes being dashed are, they're a, they're a pain to go through, but if you take it the right way, you can say, man, wait a minute, I can improve off this obstacle. I can use this obstacle as a footstool. And let me tell you what, and I was also in the position where I was so down low that I tried acting. You have to understand, if I had been just pretty good at something, I don't think I ever would have gave acting a chance because I would have thought, well, you know, I'm better at this. But the fact that I was down there sweeping floors and doing security, I was like, hey, my wife said, you might as well give it a try. We got nothing else. Take your place. If someone says you did a great job, say thank you. Um, I was in the attitude of, well, you know, it was all this other thing. This is like, I call it sumble, you know, so humble. And I decided to just take my place. If you did a good job, own it. And this is the balance. The balance is you are responsible for everything in your life, good and bad. So instead of just taking the bad, you have to say, I did that right. You throw out every excuse. And if there's something you don't like, you can change it. Hey, guess what? It's your courtroom. Once I started to realize this is my courtroom, and if I don't like something in it, I can remove it. Before I used to just be a, not just a victim, like, well, I can't, the people are here and I can't, you know what? I started to take control of who I was, like all my world. And one thing I always like to say, you telling everyone what to do does not make you the boss. You doing everything you told yourself to do makes you the boss. Gwyneth Paltrow has been Hollywood royalty since the day she was born. With successful parents in show business, she started her career with her godfather, Steven Spielberg and she won an Academy Award at age 26. In 2008, she was in London raising her family when she decided to start a business, something she could do from her home. After visiting our studios in 2016, she published a piece on LinkedIn titled, I walked away from a career where people kissed my ass and I couldn't be happier about it. Here's Queena. So it's things like that where you're like, it's more about the person who's writing it than what you're actually doing. And when something is um, criticism that's not well-researched, it doesn't mean anything to me. Criticism that's well-researched, I listen to and I like. Um, but, you know, all that other stuff is just noise. I'm so focused on what I'm doing. I love to hear everybody's ideas. And, um, you know, we are fundamentally an ideas company. That's what we are. We're not trying to proliferate the market with software um, or a service. Like, we're an ideas brand. And so I try to surround myself with incredibly creative.
creative men and women, mostly women, but um, who inspire me and galvanize the, the process. And I think internally we get to a place that's, that's good, that I always feel good about. I really operate heavily on instinct. Um, but I also like to ask advice. You know, there are people in the world who are way, way, way smarter than I am that have been doing all their jobs for way longer. And, um, and I have access to a lot of those people. Now I want to hear from you. What's the best advice you've ever received? Tell me in the comments. For more advice from the biggest names in business and entertainment, subscribe to my best advice newsletter on LinkedIn.